All right, yo guys, there's going to be a pause in the video at some point. We're just going to apologize. Our audio in the back end on the computer, it just froze for some reason. So we're going to be using the audio from the camera, sadly. But that won't happen again for the podcast uh, going forward. But. Yes. And the audio does get better. Yeah. Uh, eventually, it does we, start we going it through these mics. Yeah, we, It we was just a really unfortunate situation. There's nothing we could do about it. But, and I don't but think it's worth to just scrap um, everything. Yeah, because we actually had half. some... Uh, we had some pretty funny moments. Though. Yeah. But um, if you guys want to just, you know, you guys could skip ahead to that uh, yeah. where we do get the mics uh, involved. But also you'd be missing out on a whole bunch of stuff. So yep. um, just watch until then. Um, right. And yeah, let's get into the podcast. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Two Peas in a Pod podcast. I'm your host, Micah, with my co-host. Nathan, what's up, guys? How's it going? Today is Mother's Day. Shout out to all them milfs out there. Shout um, out. You know, we, we love you guys so much. Mm-hmm. DMs open. DMs, DMs wide open. You already know. Um, but yeah, today is, is Mother's Day. Um, I don't know exactly what we're really going to do. No but idea. <laughs> uh, normally, we kind of just chill on Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, nothing like too crazy. Did you get mom anything? What the f- <laughs> Be honest, bro. Well, okay. you're putting me on Be blast. honest on the pod. <laughs> I'm getting honest. put on blast right now. Be honest now. on the pod. I, I did not. But <laughs> there, there was a text that was sent. There was. And, you know, if that happens, I will be purchasing that. So. Okay. Dude, you know what's funny about that? Sarah sent us that text. I was like, what is she talking about? I, yeah. She acted like we were supposed to know. Uh, yeah, I had no, no idea. idea. But, yeah, good. that's an option for you. Yes. Um, but, you know, Freaking I just I just want to say, like, a, a quick apology to uh, to 6 9 Because, you know, I was just, I was trashing on his music, like, a lot last week. And I saw a video on Facebook that was being shared. It went pretty viral, I'm pretty sure. Where he gave this family in Mexico, they were living in, like, a little tiny shack. He just gave them 50k, which is a million, a million that's, pesos. It's a lot of money. Um, and apparently, I think like he's doing that every single week. Um, so Shout you out. know, I mean, I, like obviously, I just I'm not a big fan of his music at all. But at the same time, he does gain a lot of traction if he's going to use his money to do things like that. Yeah, then respect. I can't. I can't really knock him for it. Yeah, I respect it, man. You know. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of rappers that do do a lot of good, but they have such, like, a weird rep, especially, like, how they came up, so that's why they get, like, this bad look. But you do see some things of rappers doing good things and not yeah. even, like, fighting for publicity before what they're doing. So. Yeah. Um, I apologize right now. Um, <clears throat> this monster, I need it to, to wake me up. Hold on. Give me a sec. Yeah. I'm a little... And it's my nap time, you know. I, I just too. want to say, you know, shout out to Monster once again, uh, coming back for the sponsor... <laughs> Yeah, um, Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mount, Mountain Dew came this week. It's, it's big. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, you know, it's kind of weird that they're, like, sort of direct competitors. And yeah, they're but not really. Because that's, like, energy drink. This is just soda, you know? Yeah. Um, this isn't, the, like, the Mountain Dew. That, that, no, energy. yeah, that's that's right. That's why, like, we both, we got them both to sponsor the show. Exactly. Um, we didn't get the Mountain Dew energy. We just got the regular Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nathan secured that one too, mm-hmm. which was was really big. I don't know how he did it, but his negotiating skills on point are, are on point. You know, people love me. I talk <laughs> to people. They're like, we'll, "We'll do whatever you want." Yeah. I was like, "Yo, how much?" <laughs> but you yeah, know, zero dollars. Yes, but um, yeah, like I, I I literally just woke up from a nap, no cap. Um, I ate Burger King, came down here, we're recording this podcast. Yeah, guys. Yo, I go in a house, this guy is on the couch, invisible, blanket completely over <laughs> Okay, it wasn't over my head. Uh, it was almost over your head. It was to the, it was my over, angle, it was blocking It was you. over my eyes, because the light, it was so bright, and I just needed to block my <laughs> it eyes. It was, it was at an angle I couldn't even see you, I was talking to mom, I even called you lazy, I'm surprised you didn't hear me. You didn't call me lazy? I called you lazy, because I was like... I waited at the stupid edible arrangements trying to get mom her her Mother's Day the thing and I'm like right, I'm gonna get Papa John's and then you were like Burger King and I went to the Burger King close to the Taco Bell I sat there for ten minutes the lady goes yeah can you wait one second there's one car ahead of me no one else is no one behind me nothing empty she goes yeah wait one second I wait there I'm waiting I'm like you know what I'm gonna wait 
me eat this slice of pizza. Pulled out a slice of pizza, ate, watched a <laughs> video on my phone, and I was like, no, she's dude. not coming back. So I just was like, I'm gonna see if I could squeeze around this guy. So I squeeze around this guy, and I go to the other Burger King. And that was, you know how they take. Well, you know what's weird is I feel like whenever I used to go to Burger King, they would have really good service. Yeah. And then, I don't know what happened, they but stopped. they just stopped caring. So but the, the chicken sandwich, though, fire. Yo, people fire. need to talk about that more. That people chicken sandwich from Burger King is actually good. It's the best chicken sandwich out there. I'm, put you, I'm putting you on game right now. On God. On God. Straight up on God. Hey. But, um... <clears throat> spicy chicken? This week... <clears throat> Gosh, man, this nap has really got me screwed up. But um, this week, I was really trying to, you know, figure out what to talk about on this podcast. And one thing that came up was, what was the best album of 2021? Okay. And I, I looked up a list of, like, the top-selling albums. Okay. And, um, you know... Was there, Drake on there? The, well, you know, Drake was definitely on there. But uh, according to Forbes, the number one-selling album... Was by Morgan Wallen. What's it called? Dangerous, the double album. Uh, that has to be country, right? I, the thing is, I have no idea who this person. I've never I heard of this person album. before. I think it's country. That's why. And it was number one with yeah. three point two, over three point two million Dude, things sold. Country fans don't play around. I have friends on like their stories. They go to like the concerts, bro. They're always sold out. Like Luke Bryan, that's crazy. He, they have fanatic. Country is huge. Cut, yeah, it is huge, but you don't realize. But dude, they don't play around. I'm not surprised. It, it's country. I feel like right. country is just one of those things. Like in America, it's really massive, but no one listens to it anywhere else. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, well, I, I think because I could be wrong. I guess country would be closer. Like depends on the country too, because there's like bluesy country, and then there's like the folk, and then there's just like the American pop stuff. Yeah. So it's like. I don't know, I feel like the bluesy country could have a, a place somewhere else around the world, but everything else is like so Americanized. Yeah. Like yeah, even all the stuff they talk about to. is only American. You could take a ride <laughs> on my big green tractor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can drive your truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fire. But um, you know, okay, so I'll read off some of the other albums that yeah. were that were sold. Yeah. Um I'm not gonna read the number two yet. Okay. But uh, I'll just read like the really prominent ones. One was Drake, uh, CLB, Adele, 30 at number four, um, Pop Smoke at number five. Really? Um, yeah, he, well, you know. Yeah, with, like, people love Pop Smoke. Yeah, especially with like, yeah. you know, unfortunate celebrity deaths. You know, mm -hmm. those um, numbers um, go up all the time. Doja Cat, yeah. number six. TikTok's the Kid Leroy, number so seven. Good. Justin Bieber uh, with Justice at number eight. Um, do a leap other than the weekend, yeah. but um, so you know, I thought that it was gonna be like a, a really tough choice, you know, for, for my personal number one. Mm -hmm. Um, but coming at the, at the number two spot was Olivia Rodrigo, yeah, with sour, yeah, and I don't think it's actually much of a competition. I think that that was the best album released last year. I don't even remember what it was released, but that album was a sleeper, so good, and there's a lot of fans, or like, little fans, that probably didn't even listen to the whole album, but like, that whole album is actually really, really enjoyable. It's very good. Very good to listen to, and Favorite Crime. I, I literally, I was just listening to it yesterday at work. Yeah. Like, right. Traitor, mm -hmm. Fire, mm -hmm. um, yeah, Favorite Crime, obviously really, really good, but that's what, like, what you said, it's just a sleeper song. Yeah. The crazy thing is, is like it has a sound album. Obviously, it's, there's some like pop into it, but like it has a very like punky rock sound yeah. to it. And I, if she didn't get huge off of like Driver's License and like some of the singles, I don't know how big the album would have been because it doesn't seem like a sound that's very popular. Especially well, on the radio. you know, I was actually thinking about this too because um, you know it's the number two album. The album was really really good, mm -hmm. um, and you see artists, you know, like Olivia Rodrigo. Um, you see Jeremy Zucker, you see um, Breakins. Obviously, these are just two um, mm -hmm. artists that I reacted to um, recently. Yeah. But I feel like what's coming um, back into popularity is the pop punk sort of yeah. style. Yeah. And I'm all for it. Yeah. Because I feel like 
you know, for I, obviously there are good songs that there are plenty of good so- songs that were released in the past few years or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like music was getting to like a really like stale place. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but I love that the pop punk is coming back. Yeah. Uh, and Olivia Rodrigo being at like the forefront and how popular she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like that emo. It just. Oh. It, it makes me feel good that that music's coming back. Yeah, MCR, like, oh my, like, yeah, emo MCR. rock. The thing about um, Olivia is that, like, she embraces it, too. It's not like it was, she's, like, the whole character she plays, like, you see some of the videos and stuff, it's, like, so, like, pop punk, like, 90s. It's so enjoyable. I'm thinking, like, Blink-182. Uh, those were, like, such good times. Yeah. You know? No, yeah, for sure. But so yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, what else came out in 2021? I'm trying to think. What else came out? So that there was, I listened to. Um, well, there was CLB by by Drake. Yeah, obviously, I disliked that. There was Donda. That was 2021. That was 2021. I'm pretty sure. Really? What, yeah. What, what I, I could there? look it up, but I'm pretty sure Donda came out in 2021 because oh. they CLB and Donda it was. were released yeah, really right, close at the end to of each 20, other. I think it was the end of 2021. Yeah. So. Dude. Um, okay, well, Donna's probably my top then. Or wait, when did um, when did uh, Scaled and Icy was it called come out or whatever it's called? Ooh. Scaled back and Icy, whatever it is. That was that was definitely twenty twenty one as yeah. well. Yeah, for sure. That's like up there for me. I know some fans didn't like it, yeah. but the more I listen, to, like it happens every year. The more I listen to Twenty One Pilots albums, the better they get. Like no chances. Yeah, no chances. Of course, really good. I, so good. I I don't know. Like to me, I don't know. I feel like that wasn't their best album. I feel like that's one of like their worst albums so far, if I'm being honest. I mean, if you compare it to like all their other work, because we think highly, so highly of their other work, I could see it. But like to me, there's just a place for all of their stuff to a point where it's like I can't even compare them. They feel yeah. so separated. It's like yeah, this has something true. special about it. Vessel has like something super special about it. Yeah, Vessel yeah. for us. If you guys have never listened to it, you need to go back and listen to that album. Yeah, because it is so good. How we used to bump to car radio like that song. Car radio is still that's just top tier. It's top a top tier. tier song. Yeah, but I think on scale to icy redecorate. Yeah, is really good. Incredible. I think that's like one of their best songs ever. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like it's really slept on. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way that song was played on the radio or. Yeah. Or anything like that. I don't know that. if any of those songs are, like, radio like, yeah. worthy. Worthy. I mean, I think they are, but, you know. Wait, what? Um, well, they had, um, what was the one? Shy Away. Oh, yeah. You know, that, I've heard that. I think I did hear it once or twice on the radio. Shy Away had to have been a radio song, a little bit, at least. I hope so. Uh, there was... Um, what Choker. Was yeah, Choker. They but are... I feel like that's also not much of a radio song. But Choker, that... See, like, real 21 Pilots fans appreciate love that song. Choker. Love it. Because that was just, like... But it was the like, rap version of It was literally, like, an ode to his old stuff. Yeah. And how he used to create music, the rap at the end. Because mm-hmm. um, I reacted to that video, yeah. and I just remember when that happened, I was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It was so satisfying I, to I hear felt that. that a lot about their, like, the this album. Like, not... Like, Choker was the song that was like that, but... I feel like a lot of the songs, because of just, like, how bright they were, but wasn't maybe talking about the brightest, like, the best thing, like, Good Days, or It's a Good Day. Yeah. Um, it just makes me think of, like, Migraine. Makes me think of, like, all the songs, like, um, you would think that they're sad based on the lyrics, but then you listen to the song, and it makes you want to, like, hop around and be joyful. Yeah. So it's, like, very weird. So a lot of those songs are like that. Yeah. That's actually, like, how, you know, I want to write music. Yeah. Like, I want, like, the lyrics to, like, be, like, super deep and maybe sort of sad. Yeah. But, you know, it have, like, a nice groove to it. And what's the, like, yeah, what's bop. that song on Blurry Face? Where it's, um, where he literally says in the lyric, oh, you might think this yeah, song. yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, I know exactly I'm what you're talking go, about. I'm just gonna look it up. Yeah, oh my gosh, I really can't think of that. I'll literally see um, it right now. Not today. Yes, not today. Not today. Know, what? Yeah. That song, yeah, that's what it makes me think of. How did you look it up that fast, first of all? I had Spotify, because we were talking about music. I was looking at albums. So I yeah, but you, up. what, are you like Jamie? Yeah. <laughs> no, I literally had search bar, it was like this, and I went. Oh, was it? I had it like this, on it already. Oh my gosh. I'm ready, I'm prepared. And then I think, uh, I have a theory, that yeah. um, 
Nathan is actually already infused with AI. Um, Neuralink. He, mm. He's a part of the Neuralink. He hit up Elon. Elon hooked him up. Actually, I didn't hit up Elon. Elon came to me. <laughs> Elon came to me and was like, we heard about you. You're special. We've been watching you because we know how the world, wa- like, the government's watching. They're like, this kid, Nathan, is like interesting he's like the nicest kid on the planet yeah you know people love him he's a hard worker and you know what's crazy too is that elon actually showed up at our doorstep didn't even ring the doorbell just he knocked, knocked. he like, knocked we just saw we saw a tall dude we kind of waited for a second like okay hopefully this guy go, goes away he's probably like a salesman mm-hmm. he just kept knocking eventually yeah. came to the door realized it was elon yeah and i'll post a picture he also gave us Free Tesla. It was crazy. It was crazy. I was like, for, for me? No, I don't have to pay anything for it. Just the taxes. Yeah, like, it yeah. was like the, the base model, like the Model 3. Yeah. You know, but like that's still nice. It's a Tesla. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, yeah. So it's, it's crazy. We're making big moves out here with the, the sponsorships. Yeah, yo, keep supporting. TikTok, YouTube, wherever. Keep supporting. Yeah, keep supporting. And speaking of TikTok. Yo. Yo, I just got to say, like... This, like, okay, okay. Obviously, we're not joking at all about the sponsorships and how big, like, this podcast yeah. is. You know, of like, we're, we're making moves, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I don't be posting on TikTok at all. But I, 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 I chopped up a little podcast clip. Shout out to Micah for the editing the edit, I, Like, you know, I'm, I'm low-key. Like, I'm an editor. Yeah. I, I don't know what to I say. I just come here and speak. Micah does all the work on the back end. So yeah, shout like, out to Micah. I'm, like, 10%. <laughs> like, no, 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 not, not, so not that much, but, you yeah. know. No, but... Um, no, seriously though, um, posted on TikTok. I don't really post on TikTok. I don't watch any TikTok at all. I literally don't consume. Um, so you, do, you know, you edit the podcast clips exactly how they're like podcast, podcast clips are edited on TikTok. Did you know that? What do you mean? Like how you zoomed in on one person and switch and then you did the words and everything. That's exactly like if you see a podcast, I can't even speak podcast clip on TikTok. Exactly. They the same. do that. So I thought you like studied and were like, oh, that's just how they do no. it. But you did it exactly. No, I, I like I. I think I, I had an idea of what to do. Um, yeah, that was perfect. Because on on Instagram, sometimes I do go on like the uh, the reels, not the reels, um, the explore page. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, sometimes see. yeah, but okay. yeah, I've never like sat down and, and watched TikTok at all. I don't. I I seriously don't think I've like. Went on TikTok and then scrolled once. Dude. I'm not even kidding. It's a black hole. That's why I don't, don't do, it. do it. That's why I don't do it. It's a black hole. It's really bad. I'm already really bad with YouTube. Like, I'm so bad with YouTube. I get on a YouTube black hole, especially, like, after a Warriors game. I try and see every I do the same single thing. news. I'll be on ESPN. Let's see what Stephen A. said. Yes. Let's see what Colin <laughs> yes, said. Let's exactly see what Draymond said. I love that, though. It's the best, especially when the, your team wins. Yeah. And then you just want to hear everyone just gassing up your yeah. team. Yeah, and don't make fun of us. We're rooting for the Warriors. Yes. We don't care if we're front runners. We don't. We like Steph Curry. We love Steph Curry. He, he, look at Curry, man. So inspirational. Inspirational, dude. Christian brother. We love him. Shout out. We, lo- we love the Curry... Well, I was going to say the Curry brothers, but, you know, Seth... We don't... I'm sorry, Seth. Uh... You're the younger brother... It, it happens. You're you know, still really good. You actually carry the Nets. It's just not as good, but yeah. like he, he was playing. He was balling in that Nets series. Game. He was the only one that played good, like every game. He was Katie is buns, bro. All right, so, no, <laughs> you gotta count with that. Katie got locked up though. He did for sure. Big lockup. What? Wait, did Kyrie do anything though? Kyrie had know. the first game. He dropped like I think it was like thirty-seven, and he shot like sixty percent or whatever for the L. They lost. Yeah. Um. And then that was when he, like, flipped off the crowd and got the fine and everything. And then after that, he was just quiet. But, like, people are trying to give Kyrie excuse. Like, you know, he didn't play with the team, all that stuff. And then also he, what is it, Ramadan? So he's, like, fasting. Um, so he's not, he has, like, no Bro, energy probably. There's no game. way that dude is even freaking Muslim. Well, he claims. That's what he claims. Oh, he, he does? Yeah, same I with Jalen. But, that. like, Jalen Brown, they were playing against the Celtics, is claims to be Muslim and is doing Ramadan as well. So it's like he played fine and played good every yeah. So it was like, eh, it was just one of those things. Dude. Not a Kyrie hater, but he just didn't play well. That's unfortunate, Kyrie. I want to see Kyrie succeed. You flat earther. <laughs> you conspiracy you theorist. You conspiracy theorist. But speaking of conspiracy theories, oh bro. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. Okay. You know how much I love him. So this week, I didn't write anything down for this, and I did 
the most bare minimum around mm-hmm. amount of research you could possibly do. Give it to me. But there is this thing called mud fossils. Okay, keep going. That I think is pretty um, prevalent right now. Um, I was on Facebook one day, like probably like a month ago, and someone shared this thing, and it showed this giant fossil, of, like of a giant, but it wasn't like the dude was 10 foot tall. Yeah, yeah. It was like, this guy was like 100 feet tall. Okay. And the, the caption was something like, uh, you gotta learn where we came from. Something like that, mud fossils, like just look up mud fossils on Google. So you did that? So... This was over a month ago. This is probably this is probably like two, three months ago, if, if I'm okay. being honest. Okay. Didn't think anything of it, but I was like, you know what? I like to know about a lot of different things, yeah. so I'm just gonna look it up. Mm-hmm. And you know, a thing about me and Nathan is we kind of troll a lot of things. So like with flat Earth. Oh my, we love it. Like we love we're flat Earthers. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely. pretty. It's pretty crazy. Like obviously. Um, the Earth has its own electromagnetic field, just like every single uh, piece of mass. Mm. And gravity is not real. We just get sucked down by the electromagnetic field of the Earth. And since it's so big, its field is greater than what we are. So that's why we get, mm. you know, uh, he stuck to, to the Earth. You know what I mean? So, like, obviously that's what it is. Like, it's just stupid. Like, if we would go flying off, you know, yeah. if we were spinning a thousand miles an hour. It's, like, obvious that the, like... People could go to school and realize and just like use their brain a little bit and think like, wow, the earth is flat. Like you think put something on a globe, it just, it just falls, falls off. right off. Bro, isn't that crazy? <laughs> like you get a ball, boom, falls right off. It's like, how I, does that work? It's, a, it's the most simple experiment too. And like you ever see those videos uh-huh. of like the boats where yeah. it's like, they'll, they'll take like a zoom camera or whatever and like they'll do like a normal um, human perspective view looking yeah. And you don't see anything. You just see the horizon. Mm-hmm. Like they're at the ocean, obviously. Yeah. Then they take their camera and they just zoom in. And boom. Yeah. The boat fully in frame. Like if it, if it was round, it would go no matter curve. how much you zoom in, it'll just be over the curve. You wouldn't be able to see it. Like that's all I've got to say. Like, yeah, we don't have to keep going in. There's so many different explanations for why the earth is flat. Yeah. Like just, just do your research, bro. Yeah. Like look it up. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Just look we're up. the king of conspiracies and that's not even a conspiracy that's just science that's bad that it's just complete we thought science. it was a conspiracy when we went into it and then we are we not recording um low-key are we not are we not recording wait oh wait wait i see uh, the time stopped did my computer freeze bro what are we talking about the mud fossils what are they yes called? mud what are they called mud fossils they're called mud fossils okay so um but like I said, like we're just flattered, like you know what I mean. Like the moon landing was fake, obviously. Obviously. Um, but anyway, so with mud fossils, so I saw this thing on Facebook about like two, three months ago. Then I decided to look it up, and I'm just like, okay, like I don't know what I'm gonna see here, but whatever, I'll just look it up. There's this dude on YouTube with a channel called like Mud Fossil University or something like that. There's always that one, <laughs> that one YouTube channel that has all the information. Yes. Uh, okay. This is and perfect. you know, he has, he gets a good amount of views. Um, and like I said, I did the most bare minimum amount of, of research you could possibly do. And this guy would just like have this big, like rock thing. That's like this big. And he'd be like, so this is a finger. And right here, like this little divot, and that's the nail. You can see like the vein like here. Um, and he's comparing it with like other different mud fossils about of like other fingers. And he was like, you could see the same thing. And he was like, there's grip skin. Um, some that's like on your palm. Yeah. And then you see them on your like your fingertips more. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you could see that in the rock. It's like very, has like this sort of fibrous thing. Okay. And he's like. I've gotten these rocks tested, these massive things. And he's like, yeah, they come back with human DNA, like the whole thing. And I think like the theory was just like all these, you know, honestly, I don't know, (laughs) but he was just saying like these massive things, like they're actually like humans and that there were humans, like these giants that are 150 feet tall. 
and we have these sculptures. He was, I think he claimed that they built the pyramids, um, that maybe the, the Sphinx or whatever mm -hmm. was sort of human as well. Like if you were to test it, he, he went on Google earth and went to, um, um, Mount, Mount Rushmore. And he just like is looking at it and he's like, this is human as well. I think he's like, I haven't, I haven't gotten it tested yet. <laughs> but I think it's human. Have people ever thought like with the pyramids, why is like the entry and stuff inside the pyramids he, like regular human size? <laughs> like you could walk in. <laughs> like if they're going to build the pyramids, it's like they're building Legos and it's yeah. like, I'm going to take my little person and rock them in. Like what are they doing? Bro, and he also said that the, the pyramids were built top down. I don't know how that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, how do you like <laughs> but he said no. they were built top down. So I guess since they were so tall, they were just like this mm. and they just attached things <laughs> underneath with their hands and they kept doing it. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking like and they have like freaking Elmer's glue. Yeah, they have Elmer's glue, bro. Well, like, it's Elmer's glue to to them, yeah. but to us it's like freaking just lava or Yeah, whatever they're using. Whatever the heck they're using. <laughs> Because, you know, like, obviously humans at that time just can't, they're, they were dumb, bro. They can't build things. So, obviously, it's either extraterrestrials or it's 150 foot tall humans. Human. That's the only, but like, you know, real explanation for those things. Then are they humans if they were that tall? Like, are they still 100% human? Uh, like, what this, made them smaller? This, that's what I'm saying. This guy was like, oh, I got DNA testing. And it's like, does that mean we human. have, like other things that were giant like animals and stuff probably interesting but yeah he was just like yeah so all these and the reason they're called mud fossils i think mm -hmm. like i said bare minimum amount of research mm -hmm. the reason they're called mud fossils is because they're fossils in mud i never thought about that before and because <laughs> i'm sorry this is ridiculous no, because mud, but it's convincing a little bit actually. because mud you know it's like holy frick dude i sound like an idiot <laughs> talking about this because mud just it, it dries and hardens pretty quickly mm, yeah and things can get fought he like things get fossilized but they're not quicker in uh, mud rather than like stone a typical fossil, fossil. I have a question. Did you get to see what this guy looked like that did the videos? It shows face. <laughs> no, wait, I think he does have it where he. Yeah, I think I maybe, or maybe I just saw his hand. I would love to see what this guy looks it, like. Well, it's crazy because he's like making these theories and stuff, and he was like, "I made these theories like so many years ago," and he was like, "I didn't have the research to back it up." But now this dude's got research, and he got you know these things tested, and they're human, mm. like human dna completely mm. you know it's pretty it's pretty wild and now he's like you know other professors and other scientists are he put them on on game mm. and he's like my research and everything's just been proven to be true and you know what's crazy though the co every comment is a positive one of course they're That's like how it is they're like dude it's a bubble wow i i honestly i was so um i was so against this i thought this was dumb but you know the more i've watched it the more I've been convinced and it's every single comment. What? So what this guy is doing, he he's turning the masses. Is, no, it's not that he's turning the masses. It's he is looking at comments that are like that go against him and he's just deleting those comments. You think that's what that he's deleting them completely. There's, there's I no promise yeah. you. That's what he's doing. I was just, that's crazy. So oh my, he's, he's just trying to make sure that everyone in the comments agrees. Yeah, so, so people, that when people so come people in, go uh, yeah. So when new people come in, like like me, you know, they'll see the comments. They come in and they're just like, oh, this person uh, was completely convinced. Super credible. <laughs> this person was convinced, like they were on the opposite side, and this dude convinced him that this thing is true. Yeah, and it makes you. Want to you know what it's like? It's like buying things on Amazon or other websites. And you check the reviews. And you check the reviews, and it'll be like four point three stars. Oh, and and all the, the reviews good. are just like saying like great things about them, like they're bots, bro. Yeah, they're literally bots. Yeah, dang, this guy got a whole system plan. But like, 
with every conspiracy theory, like super weird, like that one, there's always a bubble and they keep that bubble with people that only agree. And yeah. it's like, you're never going to like the flat earth conference, like Logan Paul went to everyone there is a flat earther. I, the, and like, that was my favorite thing in the world, <laughs> it was so bro. Good, bro. Just months before the thing was released, everyone thought he was converting this this clip of Logan just went viral of him giving like a speech at the flat earth conference so good, and him being like convinced or whatever. Yeah. And everyone's just like, dude, and like me, cause I watch impulsive and stuff all the time. And I'm like, dude, Logan's like a really smart guy. Yeah. He, he's really he level headed too. Uh -huh. Like he doesn't just go per purely off emotion. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, dang bro. What did he see at this conference yeah, that yeah, is yeah. making him believe this? And then he came out with the video. And then he came out with the video. So good. And it's so underrated. Yeah. People it still think so he's a flat earther probably. Yeah. Because they haven't watched the video. <laughs> Such a good video. Yeah, really but know. um shout out Kyrie. Shout out Kyrie. At the end flat of the earth. day, shout out Kyrie. Yeah, Kyrie actually introduced me to the the flat earth um theory. It's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, he DM'd you that one time. Yeah. It was crazy. I was yeah. like I I posed on my story. I was like, "Yo, I need some people to put me on game," as Mike would say, about this flat Earth thing. Boom, instant, instantly, instant it was, DM. It was crazy. And he was like, "Yo, I would be honored to show you." I was like, "You're honored to show me. I'm honored to even talk to you, bro." He's like, "Nah, bro, don't don't the worry the about the humility. It's crazy. The humility of a superstar. Yeah, it's not. And you would think Kyrie is not the the humility of a superstar." withstands the test of time mm. it's a good quote i heard that one before no i'm yeah. joking i think you made that up i did just on the spot it was good bro um you know there's something i do want to talk about what how's your music going along coming along pretty good um yesterday at work uh i thought of like three different ideas to dude it's crazy bring how many ideas like. you just get me at work I'm listening to stuff most of the time. I don't think of anything new. I get like on spurts to where I'm like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. But I never like am just always thinking of ideas. Yeah. And um, it's pretty, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, uh, like it's something that like I can tap into as okay. well. So um, it depends on where your mind is focused. Mm -hmm. So there's this thing. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's the same thing as you buy a new car. And then all of a sudden you start seeing that car everywhere on the road. Uh, yeah. Like I never noticed a Jetta before I got a Jetta. But then when I did, I just see it everywhere. Like everyone has my car. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's the same thing. When you set your mind on like something, even just like the smallest amount, you start to notice it mm -hmm. in all these other areas. Because the human brain is really good at creating patterns. Yeah. There was this thing a long time ago an Apple Apple controversy when they had the iPod shuffle. Yeah. And there were a whole bunch of users complaining about the shuffle. And they were like, there's a pattern to the shuffle when there literally was no pattern. It was just yeah. a complete random thing. And then Apple had to create a thing called the smart shuffle, mm -hmm. which would just, it's like working against your brain. Yeah. So that it wasn't like actually true shuffle. It's like calculated shuffle yeah. so that your brain isn't like making all these patterns. Do you know Spotify just did that? Did oh, you get did the they? Spotify update? They have like, let me look it up. It's like, uh, let me check it. It's regular shuffle and then there's a different type of shuffle. They just added it. Wait, where is it? Yeah. Smart shuffle. Yeah. Spotify just get recommendations based on what you like and a smarter shuffle. So now like when you're on your playlist with 1500 songs and it sees, oh, he's listening to a lot of Drake it'll try and give you more, I guess, of that genre more than just a true shuffle. Yeah. Which I've always felt like it done that anyway, but that's probably just like a pattern thing. Yeah. That's, that's literally what it is. Um, so I think that's, that's sort of what it is with, um, with me and music is like, if I kind of focus on it a little bit more, I start getting a lot more ideas mm -hmm. and I start hearing different things, um, in music. So oh. I'll even think of ideas when I'm listening to, to songs. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I'll hear something and then just boom, it, something clicks. Oh, wow. And then I hear something else that I can, like, create. I've never understood that because I'm always, like, 
if you like me, how could I ever come up with a song if I'm constantly always listening to other people's music? Like, yeah. I never understood being able to come up with a melody while I constantly have a melody from a different song stuck in my head. Yeah. But it seems like it's just a gift that you have that dad has that you could listen to music and still get new things while yeah. you're listening, which is super cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like there's nothing I could really, um, say to explain it. It yeah, just it sort just of happens. Comes. Um, but no, uh, I definitely, I, I have more ideas that I want to, you know, put forth, mm -hmm. but like I need to get better at producing. Mm -hmm. So there are things I'll just talk about it now, but, yeah. um, I thought of this idea at work too. I was like, what if I do like a series where I'm recreating songs? Oh, dang. so instead of just me saying like a cover, mm -hmm. like I literally just try to recreate it. Yeah. The instrumental and just everything That'd so that it's like training better. my ear. Yeah. And I'm just learning how to do new things in my software. If I don't know how to make a certain sound, I try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, so that will get me better at producing and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that. That's fire. That's actually a really good idea. I feel like, um, so I'm going to do that for like a series. And that, the thing that's really cool about that mm -hmm. is it's a series that can never really completely die. Yeah. Cause there's infinite songs. There's infinite songs. Yeah. So, exactly. and also with that, because this podcast is like something that is, it's on my channel, but it's completely separated from everything I've, I've ever done. Yeah. So, anyone who's subscribed to me has literally zero connection and zero reason why they would click on this video. Mm -hmm. So that would just give them a deeper connection and something that, Oh, maybe I, I like that song. Or I like that artist. Yeah. Let me see what this happens. But what's also cool about it is it can bring new people in yeah. because I'm just recreating a song. Yeah. So you want to see that. That's a dope idea though. Cause yeah, it brings that like reaction aspect. Like, Oh, I love this song. I want to see what someone did with it. Um, so yeah, that's cool. So dude, last week, that question about like new and old, like old music. And do we like change our opinion on it? I went back. I went back to my, oh, okay. your favorite songs of 2017. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, where is it? Bro, my number one song. I was surprised. What? What was it? Your friends are gone by circa i had no oh. idea i spam listen to that song that much because so good cigarette dangerous was number two which was crazy i was like dang and i was yeah. like and I, I just listened to the playlist all like all week oh i actually played a song and i was like dude there's actually like there was no song i was like dang i'm gonna skip that yeah like every song i was like yo i remember why i used to like this song dude and it wasn't like dang i can't believe i like this it was just appreciating the things I listened to and I was like, this song's a bop. Yes. I had, um, what is it? They, uh, what, what is the band? Um, they do like scene five scene. One. What is it? Uh, Kellen Quinn. What is it? Oh, like? um, was it with ears with, Ear, I, with eyes to whatever. hear? And yeah. Ears to see or whatever. I listened to that. I was like, Oh my God. So I used good. to bump that. Bump so it. good. Yeah. So I was super, uh, that just made me think, I was like, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I was just not disappointed. That's what I'm saying. We were talking like, about. I was like, yeah, I don't really listen to rap that much anymore. But I was like, yeah, some of these songs like Migos. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan, but I remember why I used to like it. Like I remember I used to do some dances to it. I used to love watching freaking hip hop dances. That's why I used to love the songs. Yeah. So a lot of stuff like that. So it always just triggers memories. That's what I love about music. It's like the best at triggering memories. Yes. It's like. It puts you in an exact place, dude. Or like an exact. Moment. What's actually really cool that you just said that was because when I would when I listen to like old albums and stuff, they give me they yeah they place me where I was listening to that song exactly. Just whatever I was going through or just like a feeling, not necessarily like a fad the fad sad, a sad fad feeling. You a know fad what I mean? Ceiling. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So it placed me in a setting and i'm just like dude i like and i was never aware of this and then i became aware <laughs> and i was like and i was kind of worried that that would stop yeah you know what i mean because mm -hmm. now i'm like thinking when i'm listening to music now i'm like dang like i just have like that thought in the back of my head yeah but i i recently listened to crusher by jeremy zucker mm -hmm. and it didn't come out that long ago but i was like 
it brought me to that place Mm -hmm. and i was like holy crap so it still happens yeah and it just made me so freaking happy because i was so worried about that like really worried that's the thing that and the thing that's amazing is songs that already put you in a place like that's the the goal when you're listening to that song so when you listen to it back it's even better yeah it's like even more defined in the place you are it's oh dude that's what's great about music um but, you know, we've been going for a little bit. I don't know exactly. I was just like thinking while you're talking. I'm like, dude, I'm because I, I tend to overthink things. Yeah. So I'm like, I feel like, I don't know. The first part of the podcast, like I like it, but the audio is going to piss me off. And also Wait, there were times where I was talking quietly because I thought I was talking in the mic. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I just don't know how it's going to be. But whatever. Yeah. Um, We're going to get to the audience questions as well. Um, Last week, Jen Pope. Um, she asked, she asked like two questions, but one was when you're writing music, what, do, where does your, infor- where does your inspiration come from this nap, bro? Mm-hmm. Does it take you a while to formulate what you're trying to write into a song or a piece? Um, you know, I, I don't know where the inspiration really comes from. I think it comes from a lot of different stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's definitely very, very random. Um, and I guess like a part of it is I just want to write. Um, I like to think of an idea, put that down and expand on that idea Mm -hmm. and think about it and write from multiple different angles about Mm -hmm. that same thing. Um, so that kind of helps me. Um, I think the hardest thing to come up with, uh, honestly is like the music aspect because, Mm -hmm. um, like I'm pretty musical, but then at the same time, it's like, I, I don't, I want like completely different sounds with a lot of things that i write Mm -hmm. and so like sometimes i just overthink and i'm like oh this sounds like this i don't want to write from that spot Mm -hmm. um but we also talked about inspiration of just like thinking about things from other songs and them giving me ideas Uh, but there was a question for you as well jen asked us nathan okay um what video games do you play and do you live stream on twitch oh my gosh um i have a fan said I feel like you kind of answered this on the first one, but what gaming console do you prefer slash have? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. All right. I play League of Legends. Greatest. No, I'm joking. The game is like, I have a love hate relationship with this game because it brings me so much happiness and joy when I'm learning. Cause like, I love playing games that I could keep progressing in and League of Legends is one of those games that it's infinite progression. You can never be like the best. And you can never get to a point where you're satisfied with your gameplay. So it's a, it's a really competitive game. So that's the game. Uh, I play a lot of shooters, Apex, Call of Duty, Halo, anything, because I have a competitive Call of Duty background. I used to go to like uh, local LAN tournaments um, and play for money. So it was really fun. So any first-person shooter that's on like controller, I'm pretty much really good at. Um, and yeah, so those are my main games. I prefer PC now, but honestly, if it were like still competitive... I would want everyone to be on console yeah. because it seems like console is the most fair when it comes to like everyone be on a consistent play base and also on console, you could still play on LAN. Yeah. There's this thing going around in PC games. It's happening in COD and COD players are like kind of confused. It's like, this isn't actual LAN, which LAN just means like you're directly plugged into everybody's system. So you don't have to worry about internet, but how everything works now is you have to bring a really, really uh, close server to the proximity of what's, being played and then everyone connects to that server so it's just you're playing on low ping but it's not perfect so that's the issue so i'd rather console but i don't think anyone's going back to console yeah they no definitely not but, but i do stream on twitch motley 2 m-o-t-l-e-y number two just yes number. and follow him link is down in the description um yeah. but nathan actually oh, no. that does make me want to ask because we talked about the first podcast yeah and we need to bring it back um and also the subliners are starting in a minute. Okay. So we're going to wrap this up pretty quickly, but let's do it. I uh, just want to talk about like two things real quick. Okay. What are you doing with your Twitch? It's been okay. two weeks. No stream. No stream. Okay. Um, and yeah, it seemed like you were pretty motivated. I you am seemed still like you motivated. Still, it, you seem like I, I was like thinking that after the podcast, you were going to be like excited and you were just going to start. Okay. Partial laziness. Partial you know this feeling. I my room is a disaster. Just I, clean it. I, I'll get there. 
I'm like, I can't stream until my room's clean. Like that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like I, I have to start motto. with a clean for a clean room. My my room's not getting clean. It needs to get clean really bad. Caroline's been bugging me. Not even just bugging me. She's like, How, how's your room progress going? And I'm like, Oh, I, I did this. I did this. She's like, it's not a project. You should just like do it. Yeah. And I'm like, you're right. I don't want to, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just don't want to do it. Cause it's like when I clean my room, I either BS it and I just get the clothes up and do laundry and then vacuum and like throw things on my desk and that's clean. But if I like, I really need to clean it. I have to clean off my desk and my desk is its own beast. And then I have my dresser and I have two laundry bags. I have too much crap. All right, I have a question. Okay. What? So with your, well, yes, your mini fridge, do you still have stuff in there? Do you use it a lot? Yeah, I wish I used it more, but I, I because if I don't you don't if you don't use it a lot, yeah, I I suggest you get something like that I have in my room, like that closet thing, yeah, just to give you extra space. Yeah, I need that. I Not like you don't have to do it. It just depends. Like, yeah. do you want? I feel like I that know. would help with the, with it some might. clutter. The problem is also is. During COVID, I went on a hoodie shopping spree. I have a lot yeah. of hoodies. I have probably like twenty-five to thirty hoodies, maybe twenty. I don't. I don't know how much. I lost count, and I had to stop because I was running out of space. I would love to keep buying hoodies, but I had to stop. I have so many, and I have like jackets, windbreakers. Hoodies are the best, though. They're, so- they're the best. I'm gonna bring a try and have a new hoodie on every podcast. We'll see how that goes. So I wore the blue one, and then I have this one. So I, I have two downstairs right now. I literally yeah. looking at two <laughs> ones on the couch, one's on the floor. It's ridiculous everywhere, but I need a green one. So if anyone has a good green hoodie, like Emerald green yeah. link it, I will buy it. Still mad about the hundred thieves drop. Dude, I'm mad I'm about still the, really mad about that. I'm mad about, I missed the team summertime. They had this oh, yeah, perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. Emerald drop and I missed it. I just completely forgot too busy. But once I get my room clean, which is happening, I'm literally after this, I'm going to do some laundry. Full look, some laundry. And look, with you streaming too, we have TikTok now. But actually, I didn't mention it. TikTok's but I posted fire. the TikTok and it has over thirty thousand yeah uh, views. Fire within a week. That's fire. And also, it's climbing quickly every single day. You're getting followers too with that? Yeah, not That's like fun. it's not, not like, like anything crazy. Yeah, but like it's because like we don't have that many. Clips. And TikTok is fake. Yeah, TikTok's fake. I know like things don't translate. So but this thirty k is equivalent to i don't know maybe like 100 views bro in youtube on youtube you i'm not even kidding really like, tiktok's fake bro really? yeah because it's like is it every time someone scrolls to it it gets on their for you it counts as a view yeah yeah that makes sense so they don't maybe not even actually watch it but they'll just show up on their page yeah well i i know a lot of people are watching it because it wouldn't have this many views if they weren't true you know what i mean so mm-hmm. yeah one of um, pages. so i guess there's this hmm I don't know if there's really anything else for me to talk about. We have there's a COD tournament. My favorite team, NYSL, New York Subliners, are no. playing on Championship Sunday for the first time this year. So I'm really excited about that. And their match is on. There's something I want to do right now. I'm gonna I hopefully get you guys more details in the next podcast. I want to start a podcast Spotify playlist. Like oh yeah, we and should do like that. Bring music and then have people yes. go and listen to the podcast. Yes. or listen to the the music. That yeah, we talk let's about, do that. That's a real. That's a great on. idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, also. Quickly, I was listening to this song Uh-oh. called Infinite by Saint Slumber. Oh, yeah. that's I was like, I know Saint. That was last night. You need, bro, know, but... need to hear the song. It's okay. freaking right. so good, bro. Okay. It's so good. And the band's really small. Okay. So, I'll bump it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's podcast. Thank you guys for tuning into Two Peas in a Pod. Uh, thank you, Monster. Shout out Mountain Dew as well. You know, we love you guys. Thanks love for you. the support. Thanks, um, guys. And yeah, thank you. See you guys next week. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. Love you guys. Whoa. Whoa. Pause. My bad.